we have a VCO going into a mixer, CV Mixer 3. And the output of the mixer goes into the CV step of the sequencer. You can select any step via CV in a sequence. It means if I send an oscillation now, it will start going very fast, selecting very fast each step uh, corresponding to the voltage. We see just a very fast switching between steps. If I send an LFO here instead, instead of the VCO, this is what we would see. LFO 1, you see, the LFO would go up and down. It's slow, but if I make it very fast, it will start oscillate, of course, between all these steps. We can hear how it sounds. It sounds like this. So what I want to wow what I want to do now as said is send the VCO in the mixer, take the output and then also send wait, I'm gonna show you like this. Okay, this is what it does, and I can select here the the depth of the signal because it's just an attenuation here. So we're going to hear it. Wait, this is this has nothing to do with with the story here. Okay. Now, what I want to do is a be able to control so the position of this part. So to do it, in order to do this, I take plus 5 volt DC out, take it also in the mixer, in the input. And now I'm able via the input, second input, which has also an attenuator, I'm able to choose which step is affected. You see? It doesn't go up, up there, but it doesn't matter for now. So if I make it larger, let's say brighter, and I can make it, I can choose position. Affected by the position of, this, of the pots, of course. Oops. And this is defining the frequency of this oscillation. And of course I can animate it if I want, taking an LFO, sending it to the to the CV in here of the mixer. I'm gonna take a sine wave to animate it. Make it slow. But I want to be able to control this waveform, so I'm sending this LFO, so I'm sending it also to a, an attenuation. Brightness, position, and LFO. Don't 
That's it. 